What's going on everyone? Green Envy Gamer here with a brand new let's play of Chef, a restaurant tycoon game. It's um I used to be in the industry, so this is definitely gonna be something I could relate to. Am I gonna be good at it? I do not know. I had a few rounds at it before, but I had a uh, recent patches and I just wanted to let it kind of grow and see what it can go into. So we're going to kind of just do a fresh game right now. I'm kind of going in blind with all these new patches. So let's just hope for the best. All right, we're going to make a mail. I always need an apron to wipe my hands with. Um, I don't want a beard because I don't want a beard net. I don't know if this is okay. It says nose, I'm guessing that looks different. Or the chin too. I don't, we'll say it like he's a wider chin. Uh, brownish hair would be nice. I am, yeah, I'm Caucasian, so that's good. Uh, what are these looking like? A little bit darker expression. I want some expression. Nah, he just looks, he looks, I'll be happy the whole time. I have no problem with that. All right, we're going to stay with green. Let's see how it goes if we just do like fresh coat. Well, see, at least if we wipe stuff on it, you know, they won't even see it because it'll be uh, that dark. All right, I'm okay with that. Uh, I want to take a picture. I don't have anything to take a picture with. So we're just going to go as is. Check out what all the new patch and updates do. So far, all I know is that you're going to different districts. All right. We're going to kind of skim through this real quick. I have the gist of it. Um, yeah, okay. Go, yeah, okay. And that's it. All right, X is that. So, kind of want to like go where the blue collar area is and stay away from the red as much as possible. So, we're just going to, uh, Oh, there's a lot of red everywhere. I think there's going to be red on every little thing, or what? Yeah. Oh, wow. These are spaking. I don't think there's good business. Hmm. Ooh. That's actually a good spot. For, uh, who call it none, though? Cheap steaks. All right, so we want medium kitchen, medium hall. So 750. We're gonna uh, basically do that as our main. I do want something that has a bonus of some sort, but if they're all negative bonuses, then oh well. Yeah, they're. Oh okay. It's very small though. Very small. It's going to cause more rent just for a smaller place. All right. That looks good, but expensive. All right. I don't want to go too long trying to pick something. This map looks a lot bigger than before. And we could always upgrade after. So let's just, uh, still nothing. All right. Actually, you know what? Medium, medium. Yeah, we'll do this. At least there's somewhat of a bonus. So, blue collar. So, 10, 15, 10, 15. The same amount. We'll go with that 644. I am okay with that. Considering it's almost the same. It's not the same layout, but it's the same size by square foot. So, we're paying basically a lot less for the same amount. Let's uh, put it to use. All right, I already know everything. Don't bother me, I guess. Well, uh, I'll let you guys play the tutorial if you haven't played it yourselves. Are you sure you want to exit? Yes. All right, so what I'm going to do is pause the time. It's already paused. Good. Just want to do some furniture and furniture and real furs. <laughs> uh, it costs money though, eh? Everything costs money. 
Oh no, okay, zero. Beautiful. Apply. Okay, I like that. At least for now. Uh, is this for the kitchen? I need something for the kitchen. Like that. No. We'll apply that. Uh, oh, it's right here for the kitchen. Gotcha. We'll apply green for the kitchen. Uh, wall for the dining area. That's uh, kind of off. It's too much green, eh? How about this? What about beige? Uh, kind of works. Alright, we'll leave it like that. We'll just... <clears throat> For the kitchen walls, we'll just do basically, we'll do green inside there. That looks a bit nicer. Outside, uh, green brick. Yeah. All right. Green everything if we could. I don't want to make it too clash though. All right. So at least we have the restaurant looking decent enough. So furniture. Definitely uh, kitchen first. And uh, counter. Rotate with. Okay. Gotcha. We'll just put two of these. So we have two people working at the same time. Hold on. This is an oven. That's a. Uh, Basically an oven, they're all, actually, that's the only oven, at least unlocked at the moment. So we'll have to at least create one oven on the side over here. Keep some room, just in case if there's another table I want to add. Right, these are both cookers. So the maintenance cost is cheaper and you can produce more at 10. So we're going to add one of those. We definitely need a grill. Is that? Okay, it's too close right there. Um, fire, we kind of don't need right away, but I just want to give us the option to actually produce that food. So we're going to do like one of each, at least for now. And then what I'm going to do is if I need a lot more, if I see like we're kind of getting busy, it all turned red. Oh, it's. I think it turned red because I can't build anything there. Um, I'm gonna make the exact same line like that, opposite, but like facing this way, going like that all the way down, so that the cooks are basically using the same, having their whole own line of basically all the tools. All right, so we're gonna uh, add some fridge because it actually does help the cost for uh, all the ingredients. And what I'm going to do is place them all the way at the end. So I'm just going to put two for now. And then this is kind of useless to have a microwave. It doesn't give any beneficial factor. But this is very good as in the prep time is very fast. So we're just going to add two of those as well. I don't know where though. I don't want to get, oh, I want to make a line there. Um, whatever. I'll put them right beside the fridges. I'll just add more fridges down the road if I have to. All right. So technically the kitchen is good. That's how far we're going to go with the kitchen. Tables now. Uh, I kind of want to just stay with this one. Green on gray. I feel like that's kind of nice at least. And we're going to start in this little dining area over here. So we'll uh, kind of hug the corn as much as we can. See how much we can make right at the end. Wow. That has to be a lot of space in between. Well, if we can get maybe four or five. Five would be ideal, but I think it's only four. Yeah. Okay, so... I'm gonna do is rotate and kind of use that same area so that the Raiders just go on one side for all the tables so hopefully that works because then I could just 
do this, put that table right beside each other. Uh, you know what? I'll go one more row. Seeing how I'm not that broke yet. And this is just going to invite people in. So this is kind of technically taken care of in this corner, unless if there's a way that I could fit one of these guys in here. No. Alright. So, decorations we kind of don't need at the moment. Like, it does increase the quality, eh? We do want that. So, 2.51. One. This was three. You know what? I'll, uh, three hundred and twenty dollars. I could put one over here at the door. Let's decorate just a little bit. So that it's actually home in, like welcome in. Yeah, right there, and have that one like right there. Oh man, it's supposed to turn around. Ah, oh. all right. Let's see if I can. Click on that and just rotate. And there you go. All right, I think I'll be happy at least with this start. I know the waiters are going to have to walk a lot further, but hey, got to work for your money. All right, so furnishing is good. Now, staff-wise, I don't like pictures, apparently, so I look away. That's reasonable, because that's almost like real life. All right, 2300 Oh, we got to stand ask around to hire. So this is a new, uh, new setup of buttons right here. There was the same idea before, it's just a different layout UI. Alright, so as a chef though. They're all seventy five. I'll hire one chef. You can't really see their skills, eh? And we'll do two waiters. I can't really I'm just gonna um hire them. Actually, I'll hire three, and we'll go from there. We'll see how much that's going to cost me. All right, menu-wise, we're going to do... Huh, there's cool little icons here, too. I never saw that before. So this is going to be vegetarian, vegetables, dairy, and it's going to be healthy. It's going to be heavyweight. Has fat tag. Only recipes with 800 calories or more. Alright, well that's going to be good though. Because that has a nice rating on it. Alright, so what is this? Poor offer. The menu is too small. Small menu. Few ingredients. So I'm guessing this is like the rate of my menu right now. Okay, so. Appetizers. Uh, I feel like I can cook them all, right? So might as well add them all. Uh, right away, I'll add four dollars to everything, cause obviously this stuff is ain't cheap. But I do want a variety of everything, so I'm gonna try to do that as best as I can. So for something like meat. I want to do meat and vegetables, so that's there. Seafood, I right, just seafood and vegetables there. Seafood and grain there. All right, out of the best, I'll take that one. Uh, so I want some wheat as well, right? Or carbs? That's what it's called, carbs. So we're gonna have some carbs. We're gonna have that there. Uh, that's vegan. Vegetarian, and that's vegan. So I wasn't okay. I guess they're not the same thing. I really thought there was something. So I'm definitely gonna have to have 
vegetarian in there or vegan stuff there. All right, so I have two vegetarian. Everything has vegetables. <laughs> uh, there's one seafood. I'll give two seafood without vegetables and some carbs. Or else I don't want to offer too much right away, right? Because that's going to overwhelm my cooks. Um, I think I should be good. There's only one meat. There's only one thing that's healthy. So maybe I should put this here. That's healthy. Uh, and maybe one more heavy. Uh, I should have two of everything. Let's just verify that. I can't have two vegan things. So I'll add this. All right, I think that'll be fine. And I'm gonna add five dollars to each of these things because obviously it's gonna be more than just an appetizer. And then the desserts and drinks, I might just add everything we have. And yeah, we'll just keep it like that for now. Salads, uh, yeah, keep them all because one's meat, one's vegan, and one's what's it called? Seafood. Okay. So we'll just add four. We'll add four. Soups. Uh, we'll add two. We'll add both of these. Four. And then uh, side dishes. And there's a, I totally forgot there's a lot of variety. We'll add both. You can never have too much choices. We'll just add four. We'll see if the prices are way too much, but I don't think so. All right, so. Uh, put you, you, and you in there. You know what, let's go all desserts. We'll do four as well. So everything up four dollars except for main courses. Main courses up five dollars. So this is obviously too nice. That's the only a draft, so we'll put up three. Three dollars for drinks. All right, and then we'll continue going up when the time comes. So we're looking very good for everything right now. All right, so politician decisions. All right, so we're gonna have to. Unlock this by getting popularity. Uh, no ambience. It's going to cost. It's definitely going to cost some money. For at least some nice cleaning, which I'm going to do mid. Uh, kitchen cleaning. I definitely need it clean there. I almost want to uh, do more. But we'll see how this goes. Keep you going too. But if I go all the way, it's going to be double that. 40, 30. Hourly. Hourly. Yeah, okay. So we're just going to cut you guys all in half for now. Apply changes. Staff-wise, average salaries, I'm okay with that. And flyers. We're going to put something out. Uh, What are we going for? Blue collars. Popularity. Man, I really... I don't want to do this anything. I just want to do moderate spending. And then... Customer removal. Oh, yeah. I don't want to do anything like this either. Because I just kind of want to bring everyone in. I don't want to do any specific people. And I don't want to kick anyone out. Uh, billboard. Ooh, let's not go too far. Ooh, I didn't apply the changes. All right, we'll apply the changes there, and we'll uh, continue on with the recipe editor. All right, so this is where we make our own recipes. I think I touched a little bit base on when I started to play this game. I don't think I got too too advanced in this, but we're not gonna uh, look into this just yet. Uh, ingredients panel. They change this up it looks a lot nicer now okay so just click and drag click and drag there you go that's what I'm talking about a lot of ingredients 
So, do I have any points at the moment? I have zero points. That's totally fine with me. If I click on it, yeah, okay, I have no points. So, we're just going to keep going. This is going to be my review section. That's the city map. That's my stats. Alright, so let's go back to the control panel. No points there either. Alright, so let's play. Let's get this going. Let's see what we got. We got a basic kitchen. Lots of room for improvement. So decisions available. You have some decisions that could be active. Alright, uh, I already did that. Okay, cool. Oh, I can be active right away? No. Don't freaking lie to me like that. Alright, so so this is like a new panel for me I never saw. So we got tasks, serve customers, prepare recipes, prepare. Okay. Uh, staff. They're all not doing at the moment, which is fine because obviously there's no, uh, there's no... Oh, shoot. Am I supposed to like open it? Is there like a... Huh, hold on. Okay, that's actually cool. Never saw that before. No tutorial. Can I unlock this? Yeah, there you go. Uh. Oh, I just call it. Green. Do like this. Green envy. Bar and grill. All right, uh, locked into place. Okay, so for now, how do I open this place? Popularity. I hope that it's just, I guess, open. Don't tell me I have to do something. No, I don't think so. I think it's just freshly open. That's why uh, no one's coming in. Yeah, let's just hope for that. Alright, perfect. Alright, so let's increase the speed a little bit. Let's see what happens. Alright, so... We got a first table up. Let's see how well these guys cook. All right, what time is it? It's noon. Okay, so we're gonna have like a little lunch for us right now. Ooh, we got sound effects coming now. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right, so they just take the order, and basically right from there, these guys already know what to freaking order. It would be nice to have them either go to like a, a machine to like let them know from a ticketer. Or to actually go there and let them know. And then maybe they should obviously uh, add like a, a service table to put the food that's ready on there too. Um, there's a lot of ideas. Just, yeah. Like I said, I worked in this industry so I know how it is. But this game is really, really good. As uh, For fun, it definitely has some ups and downs. But there's definitely potential here. Definitely potential. All right, so so far we're doing really well. We're not filling up too much, and we actually rotate the tables really well. All right, we're gonna slow down because I really don't know what that sound was. <laughs> oh, I guess we got some points. I hope that's what it means. Right. Why are we? Oh, is that like I can trigger that on or off? I gotcha. Ah, oh, so we got a new review. Ah, oh, first review is excellent. Can't go wrong with that. Alright, well I don't want to lag too much or last too much with this episode. So I think I'll end it here. And uh, we got our first restaurant up and running. What we'll do with this playthrough is I'll try to create a, a bigger restaurant here on out and try to, you know progress as much as I can in this early access game and then leave it alone until the full release and then actually give it another go and see if the game has changed so much and it's probably going to be changed for the better so let's hope for the best 
and let's see how it goes. Other than that, I want to thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button if you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know if uh, you guys are interested in this playthrough. If any other games you guys are interested. Very helpful. Other than that, consider subscribing. I'll try to be putting out videos as often as I can to keep you guys entertained. So until next time, guys, take care of yourselves and peace out.